Hey guys, just showing some cool things I got from the uh, bank the other day. Uh, I got all these for face value. This is just things that someone brought into the bank. Um, couldn't for the life of me tell you why. Probably someone either stole them or inherited them and just took them to the bank. Um, this is a silver proof state quarter. Uh, it is a little circulated as you can see. But you can also see on the uh, from the rim of the coin it is silver, there's no copper no, it's not like the copper clad that you see uh, there's the backside, Kansas 2005 this actually works pretty well, just take a loop when you want to videotape and just bring it right up to the right up to the camera and you can just zoom right in on whatever you want uh, this is a gold plated these are um, Westward Journey nickels. As you can see, they're also slightly circulated. Someone really needed five cents bad enough to, I don't know, steal their grandfather's gold plated coins that some company swindled him into buying. Because um, the, th the plating is so thin, actually, if you, if you look back here, you can see on the edges some of it's like wearing away a little bit just because of its small amount of circulation um, oops I'm hurting these more than they already have been alright so you can see on this one this is a uh, 1979S pretty nice coin little damage on the face that high point right there but it's just kinda cool to see the uh, that really deep cameo that you just you don't see a lot in circulation, um, but yeah, these ones are gold plated. That this is normal composition, ninety percent silver. So that's actually a pretty decent, just a chunk of silver right there, and it looks really nice too. Um, and these are some euros that my dad brought back from Paris. He was on a business trip recently. Um, I have to say, they kind of aren't as cool as I thought they were going to be. Notice. This is a 50 cent euro. Try to get close in here. Um, the 50 cent euro has this um, epic picture of this uh, goddess of star throwing standing on stars that are on fire. Um, but then you look at the next picture. Um, this is another 50 cent euro, actually. Um, this one is a 20 cent euro, and it's the same picture and the only difference is that the rim has these little I don't know bevels or something the 10 cent euro has the same picture so there's two 10 cent euros and then then the other side just says the denomination oh and actually you flip these coins in this direction they're metal orientation so you flip them right to left rather than up and down so that's the only difference, it just has a different number on the back and this one has a slightly different shape I guess to help tell the difference between these two a little bit um, and then this is a two euro coin um, yeah not a very not a very interesting coin unfortunately but I do appreciate my dad bringing them back for me because I kinda begged him to um, so he was nice enough to do that for me. There's the two euro, and the back is just really not uninteresting. Just just the two euro on there. Um, yeah, kind of weird. I I wasn't expecting all of them to be the same, and then all right, this one is like a little bit different, but not too much. But yeah, that's what I got, and uh, these I got for face value, and these were just a uh, present for my dad. So I made out pretty well. I got some cool coins, and uh, yeah, especially especially this one. I really like, I really like the way this thing shines. All right, leave some comments, subscribe. I'm always finding something weird. Um, these ones actually a teller saved for me. Um, not me personally. They just saved them for the next person who was gonna ask, and uh, it's usually me. All right, thanks guys. Break, subscribe, and all that.